Hi, I'm Jay, welcome to the workshop, and today we will be installing the first part of our custom air ride suspension controller. I've already done a video on um, what my intentions are, my ideas behind it, uh, which I'll put a link up in the in the top corner there for you if you want to watch that. Uh, today we're actually going to be putting the uh, the manifold in, which is actually going to be doing the physical opening and closing of the valves and regulating the pressures uh, under the instruction of the controller part, which uh, will come later on. So this manifold is very simple. Uh, we'll just recap it. It consists of a, um, a section for left and right. One solenoid being uh, opens to let the pressure out of the airbags. Uh, a pressure gauge uh, to give a manual readout just in case I want to compare what the Raspberry Pi is outputting compared to what is actually in there, so if the sensors are um, outputting correctly. And then a input solenoid which will allow the pressure from the compressor reservoir tank into the airbags. The only thing which isn't screwed into this manifold at the moment is the actual electronic pressure sensor which will send the information to the uh, Arduino and then to the Raspberry Pi. So, here are the sensors. Uh, they uh, all, pretty much all the kit off here uh, on this manifold at the moment is off eBay. Uh, and so are these pressure sensors. They're all at different ratings. You can get different ratings from 20 PSI up to, uh, I think there's one there for 500 PSI. This one's rated 100 PSI, so it's at its max output, signal output, uh, it will be outputting 100 PSI, so you need to make sure you get the right ones for the job. I went 100 PSI ones because the maximum pressure allowed in my airbags is 100 PSI, so I shouldn't need to know any pressures higher than that. We're going to be using PTFE tape to uh, seal the threads, uh, sometimes called plumber tape, uh, to ensure there is an airtight seal on it. Uh, it's just as simple as applying it in the right direction. So when it's threaded in, it's actually threaded into the um, thread rather than being pushed out of it. The best way I, I uh, remember it is putting the thread in your left hand, applying the tape clockwise. Uh, should always be the correct way. And all we have to do from then onwards, it's easier if you take the electrical connector out, screw it in hand tight to begin with, and then with a spanner, tighten it up the rest of the way. Once that's done, pop the electrical connector back on, which I'll find the key. And that's that side done. We'll just do the same for the other side. Right, now that all of our connections are fully tight, we can uh, start looking about putting it into the Hilux. Right, so we're in the back of the Hilux now. As you can see, I've already mounted the compressor. The um, This is the compressor's manifold here, which actually came with it, because I'm using an air on board system, which came with uh, compressor, manifold, gauges, safety gauge, um, tank as well. The tank's going to be mounted underneath where the spare wheel would normally go. Uh, as I kept carrying the spare wheel on the back of the, uh, of the Hilux, so got space there for it. Should be up and out the way, so it's um, out of the way of damage, etc. So yeah, I kind of originally placed this here uh, just to give me an idea, but after actually eyeing it up, 
I think I want to put the manifold back here um, so it's quite easily seen um, and it can be looked at if need be so if, to do that uh, I'm gonna have to move this up here or something like that so go on with that <laughs> basically where I want it to be. Now if you're interested, the way I mounted this is the, the Harx came with a uh, cargo, uh, what do you call it, tub liner, um, which I found, with the exception of the deck, the actual sides have got quite a bit of space behind them, which means you can get away with um, using some self-mill tappers, uh, self-tappers, sorry, not self-mill tappers, um, and as long as you don't have way too much sticking out, um, it's actually quite a good solution, as long as you don't mind drilling holes into your liner. Uh, basically all you have to do is, you can either pilot drill or you can just force them in to the hole and create, let it create its own thread, and uh, yeah, it's quite a good mounting option. So something to keep in mind if you're planning your own build. Anyway, back to uh, a few things I've changed. The compressor manifold itself, I've taken the supplied, um, what do they call these things, quick couplings for airline, airline couplings. Came with one of these so you can use it for normal air tools. And then obviously the uh, capacity gauge. I think I'm going to remote mount that capacity gauge uh, onto the front panel I have here so I don't have to lift up the side to have a look. Uh, then when I'm airing up, and air, um, well, airing up uh, after being off road, um, I can just drop the tailgate and just take a quick check to see if I've got enough capacity in the reservoir. Um, for airline connectors, I'm going to be routing um, two branches directly off the tank underneath um, at either midpoints or near the rear, I haven't quite decided yet, on either side so two people can be airing up at the same time. Hopefully the compressor will be able to deliver enough air output but we'll see. Um, so I won't need any airline fittings inside the cab so to speak. So in here where the hole where this was screwed into is going to be the supply for our air suspension manifold. So I'm basically going to take one of these push fittings and screw it into there and then have a small line going up into here actually, not into there, up into here, uh, which will supply both uh, the left and right branch of the air controller. Unfortunately, I need a couple of reducers, which I don't have at the moment, and there is no way on the island that reduces uh, down to 3 eighths, which is I believe what is, I'm using here from half inch. Um, so instead I'm going to get the compressor wired up and uh, test to see if it's running. So, get everything wired up, very very crudely. Uh, mainly I just wanted to see if the compressor is working because it's been storage for quite a long time. Uh, but I'll just quickly run you through how to wire up the compressor, in case you're interested. Basically, compressor needs to go for a relay because potentially it's a uh, high current draw component uh, so better safe to be sorry basically uh, so we've got 40 amp um, relay which is plugged directly into the compressor uh, the com that relay is then powered by a fit cable capable of carrying the current to our fuse board which has now got a 30 amp um, fuse in it. 
from there the actual trigger wire is uh, this is where it gets a little bit different to what you'd normally do with a relay normally you just plug it in straight to a switch turn the switch on activates the relay that's all fine where this because it requires um, on -off -off operation on pressure settings it needs to go via the actual pressure sensor itself or the pressure switch should I say so uh, we take power to a switch from the switch into one pole of the pressure switch again depending uh, depending on the, the actual switch is depending on what how it wired up but on this one it could be either or and then from the other pole to your relay uh, ground the relay ground the um, compressor and then push the button on. And it'll work. Obviously that will run all day because there's nothing actually stopping the pressure from building up so yeah that's pretty much it. Um, the weather is now working against us so I'm going to have to call it a day so uh, keep tuned for the next part and I'll see you then.